Hey guys, uh, this is Stubble here, bringing you yet another After Effects tutorial. Ignore what I just did, because I was deleting something, because I failed at this tutorial last time. But anyways, um, you can see I've already added some stuff in here. I've added uh, markers um, on the song, like wherever our beat hits. It, I, it's just a simple cinematic, by the way, that we're going to do this on. By the way, it's colored flashing lights, is what I'm going to be showing you how to do, if I didn't already say that. I don't think I did, but I've added markers because that's when you want the light to flash on the beat. If you don't know how to add markers, um, go up to layer and add marker. Um, look whatever your hotkey is, and that's whatever it'll be. So let's get started. Um, you're gonna want to make a new by right-clicking the timeline and clicking new, and then solid. I'll use pink, I already have that selected. And then go up to your ellipse tool. If it's already a rectangle, then right er yeah, no. Don't right click. Just click and hold and then go down to the ellipse tool. Um make it as good as a circle as you can in the middle, not like an oval like that. It doesn't need to be very big. Um that looks pretty good. Um Go down to your mask where it says all this uh, mask path by mask path, max, mask feather and all that stuff. Um, and make the feather 300 so it's like see through. But it's okay because you make the mask expansion 500 so I make it a lot bigger. This is kind of uneven but it's okay for the tutorial. You want to take some time drawing your circle if you're doing this. I'm just doing it for the time's sake. Um, right click on your solid and make it, or go to blending mode and make it add. So this is what your light's going to look like. As you can see, it looks really sexy. Um, drag, or go to wherever your beat is. Um, I'll, mine's right there. I started before the marker a little bit because I never, you know, I don't like get it exactly on the beat. So drag it out to where it's like touching. And then all you, all it is from now on is messing with the opacity. So keep right or I don't know why I keep saying right click. Just click on the stopwatch make, to make that 100 and go to your next beat and make it 0. So as you can see here, I'm going to RAM preview this. You can see it flashes with the beat and then slowly fades out. So sorry, sorry if this is kind of loud. Okay, this is a good song by the way, it's really good for editing. Um, I'm going to be using it soon, so that's why, that's not why I'm using it, but just saying. Anyways, you're going to want to go ahead one frame um, from your last keyframe and make or duplicate this uh, solid by pressing Control D and then drag it out to where it's touching. Yep, it's touching. And then go to layer, solid settings, and you can change the color to whatever you want. So I'll make it blue. Yeah, it's blue. And then you're gonna wanna press MM to drop it down or you can just drop it down using the arrows and mess with the opacity because the beats are not all like evenly spread apart. So I'm going to move this keyframe back to where this beat hits. So there, we already have our two colors. So this is t kind of time consuming. Um, control D again, drag it out to your next beat. Actually, I'm going to go one frame ahead because you don't want them hidden on top of each other. And then layer, solid settings, new color, make it green, bright bright green um, MM to drop down the mask uh, what just happened there oh crap my bad I'm going to back out of this anyways um, mess with the opacity however you want get it on the beat go to your next beat move this keyframe back 
make sure it's right on it. Go ahead, one frame, like we did last time. Um, close this up. If I can get it. Control D. While well, it's selected, Control D. And then, again, I'll do it one more time, just in case you haven't gotten the hang of it yet. Um, layer, solid settings. So, obviously it's just the same thing over and over again. These look really nice, um, especially synced. You don't have to do it synced necessarily, but um, you can, and it looks a lot better. So, and if you don't want these to all like take up your timeline, you can just right click and click pre-compose right here. Um, just keep it how it already is, and if it's not like this, make it click, sorry, click on move all attributes into the new composition, name it whatever you want, I'll name it a boner, and then it looks ugly, or bad, because, you know, it's like all bad, I don't really know how to explain it, um, you're going to want to right click on it, and go to your blending mode just again, and go to add, and there it is. So I'm going to actually undo this because I'm not done yet. But you get the hang of it, I hope. So, anyways, that was Stubble. Thanks for watching my tutorials. Drop a like and maybe even a sub if this helped you out. Uh, peace.